Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video I will be doing a tier list of every daughter song up to this point. At this point everybody knows the lead singer of this band sucks, he's a horrible person. But for this video I am not putting that in mind. I'm just rating the songs based off of how good they are. So with that in mind let's begin with... <laughs> The debut EP. So this EP is the first release of the band. It's like mathcore, not my favorite genre. But let's begin with track one. Hello assholes. Uh, I think the intro to the song is nice, but I literally do not care about anything else on the song. So I am gonna put this song in the D tier. Next up, flattery. Uh. It's super short, but I am not interested at all. This is a, another D tier. Next, A Room Full of Hard-Ons. The first minute of the song is pretty good, but the last 30 seconds, boring. My Stereo has Bono. Uh, the riffs on this song are cool, but I literally could not care less for the vocals. This is probably the top of D tier at this point. Alright, next is Canada Songs, their first album. Uh, first we have Fur Beach. Uh, it's cool for the first five seconds and then becomes immediately uninteresting. Jones from Indiana. Uh, instrumental and backing vocals on this song are cool, but front vocals literally could not care less. I slept with daughters. The first half is meh, but I do like the sound of the second half. Like it's a more haunting sound. It's top of C tier at this point. And then the chuds came. Pretty uninteresting, but the part around 50 seconds is cool. Mm, it's D tier. Above flattery. Wait. Oh, I just ranked the whole wrong song. Okay. I don't remember where that is. Uh, but yeah, above flattery. Mike, short, nothing hooks me. D tier. <laughs> Nurse, would you please? Uh, this song is probably the best on this album. Um, instrumental is good, don't care for the vocals, C tier, oh no, I put it like bottom of C tier, I don't give a shit about wood, the, like, guitar and bass on this song are good, but vocals don't interest me at all, it's currently top of D tier though. Pants meat shit, funny name, explosive but boring. Also, the guitar in the beginning is stupid as hell, so don't like that. So that is going in D tier. Damn those bloodsuckers. Instrumental was nice, vocals are boring. Top of D tier. The ghost with the most. This is like the worst song in my opinion they've ever made first 40 seconds are like similar to the rest of the album and then around 40 seconds the stupidest fucking guitar riff comes in and then the song just never recovers from there <laughs> which is why i'm gonna put this in f tier Next, we have Hell Songs. Honestly, this is the first of their noise rock albums. So this is the point where they start making good stuff. So first we have Daughter Spelled Wrong. Good intro. However, nowhere near the be Anne's best track. But the slow build is pretty good. I'm putting this in the B tier. Fiery. Uh... 
This is like your first really good song. Goes hard as hell and hype as hell. So I'm putting it in A tier. Recorded inside a pyramid. Uh, the riff on this is really good. Lux's vocals on this song are great. Uh, the first, like, no, not first, last 40 seconds of the song, or like the first time the band feels like actually truly haunting. So I'm going to put this in A tier as well. X-Ray. Good song, however, it's too short. It's only 50 seconds long. Could be better. Feisty Snake Woman. Uh, instrumentals and vocals are good, just somewhat, like, very slightly boring. However, like, the clicking, like, around one minute into the song is pretty good. So we're going to put this in bottom of A, I want to say that's where I put it. Yeah. Now I put it above Fiery, I thought, I think it's Fiery. Better than Fiery, I should say. Hyperventilation. The instrumental was crushing in the repetition of the vocals of Love is a Disgusting Thing are like super good, makes the song like hellish. Also the distortion at like the end of the song is great. So it's right here, in my opinion. Crotch Buffet. It's solid, but definitely one of the weaker moments from this album. Top of C. Cheers Pricks. Uh... So, this song is too long. On It's like, this is the longest song before their last album, You Won't Get What You Want. I, it would probably be a, a tier higher if it wasn't like six minutes long. So, I'm going to put it right here. Providence by Gaslight. This is probably their best early song, like before... Like self titled, and uh, you won't get what you want. Uh, the riffs are great, the instrumentals are like hellish, vocals are delivered in a haunting way. Also, the horns near the end are great, so I'm putting this in top of A. The Fuck Whisperer, uh, it's intentionally, it's like an intentionally haunting closer, and like the repetition of it's already too late is great. Just like, I wish there was only like two big hits warning you about like that big explosion at the end. So I'm putting this in bottom of B. Next we have the covers. I'm doing all these before the last two albums because they are their best. First we got Marry Me, Lie Lie. Decent cover, but definitely feels like it is coming from, like, Hell Songs era. I'm putting it below. I slept with daughters. Radio-friendly unit shifter. Uh, good cover. Uh, just, it fits the style they're going into, like, you won't get what you want. I'm putting this in B tier. Big Cheese. Uh, honestly, in my opinion, a better Nirvana song, like originally. So it's just another good cover. And it very much sets up more the you won't get what you want style. And I'm putting it in A tier. Below Snake Woman. Actually, no, Below Fiery. Uh, next, What's Inside a Girl. This is definitely the most different sounding song. Like, there's no other song that sounds like it, but... Eh. I just don't really care for it. So I'm putting it in C tier. <laughs> next, we have... Self-titled, in my opinion, this is their best album. Definitely a hot take. But this is my favorite. First we have the version. This is an insane opener. The riff throughout is great. I also like the like almost autobiographical story about Paul. And like 
it's about how like Alexis self destruction and like tendencies to perform naked before this album where he got off alcohol. So we are gonna put this in A tier above everything else. First supper. It's pretty much just a song of pure hype. The wailing riffs are great. The vocal delivery is great. The like just like the booming riffs around the two minute mark just make it go into like the calming like the more calming part better. So I'm putting it in A right under the virgin. The hit. This is my second favorite daughter song. It's like easily their most catchy song and the best place to start. The opening riff is like great. The opening verse just keeps the energy moving. And then there's like this brief like three pauses near like 46 seconds in the song. And then like after that, like just the riffs go hard as hell. Oh, and then there's like uh, like two minutes of waiting till you get to the chorus. And then there's like a bridge into the final chorus that ends with it. Like it merges with it in the end to make it sound more badass, which is why I'm saying this is the first S tier. Next, the theater goer. Uh, where did I put theater goer? The song is hype, badass, great. It, like, pretty much, like, the instrumental is, like, one of the best parts of the song, and, like, it is literally just left to let go for, like, a third of the song, and it's just literally Alexis just moaning over it, but pretty good, it, and he comes back in, like, the third section to make, like, it sound even better, so I'm putting this in S tier. Our Queens, mm, I, I'm pretty sure I put this in S, yeah. Has like my second favorite opening on this album. I'm um, outside of the hit. Uh, the guitar line is great, and like you, it pretty much just goes into a barrage of sound. Um, and then there's like a part like halfway through where Lex just starts repeating "I want it," and it's like super hype. So I'm putting this in S tier. The Dead Singer, this is my least favorite moment from this album. It is a calm down of like everything that's happened so far. Or right. and I feel like it's too long as there's like two more hype moments like I'm mainly following this. Like I don't think this song really needs to be on this album. But eh, whatever, it's on here. I can't be mad. So I'm going to put this in top of B tier. Sweet Georgia Brown. This song is another great moment from this album. Uh, I want to say, hold on, where did I put it? Okay, there it is. This song is a slight rise in energy from the last song, but it's still got like nice hellish energy. The backing vocals on the song are great. However, they are done much better on the next song. And I think this is a S tier. Both the theater goer, but not above our queen. Uh, unattractive portable head. This song is great. Like that bass riff on its opening is great. And it's just preparing you for like the big build on the song. Like there's hand claps that come in and there's like this big triangle hit that gets in gets in this song to prep you for what's about to come and once the guitar drops out and then this keyboard comes in the song pretty much just like elevates itself to the next level and like the last minute with like the super prominent keyboard and chanting vocals is easily one of the best moments from any song they've made so that is why i am putting this in the s tier at number two right now And finally, we have You Won't Get What You Want, starting off with City Song. Uh, so, even though this is my least favorite moment from this album, it is a really good setup for, like, the beast of an album you're about to get through. Uh, like, 
it's very like slow. It pretty much is just like repeating cities and empty glass for like the entire runtime. But I do like when it's like the most noisy and like whenever like the entire instrumental drops out, out just for the vocals. And I'm putting this in the B tier. Long Road No Turns. Uh, the song is a pretty much perfect showcase for what you're about to get in to. It's perfect. It's like beautiful or like it has beautiful instruments in the background with like a super haunting instrumental. Like there's a big keyboard that comes in like around the last minute of the song that shows this. So I'm going to put this in the S tier. Satan and the White. This is easily the best song they've ever made. Pretty much shows their evolution to this point. Like it, it has like this build up to like a chorus that you would think is oh this is gonna be like extreme like heavy, but no it's gonna be it's like the most like calm like moment ever. Like it's pretty like this beautiful keyboard that comes in, and like the like haunting vocals that are like in the background, and like every build up to the chorus feels like it is worth it. Which is why I think this is one of the best moments of their discography. And also the big build near the end is really good. The Flammable Man. Uh, the song is one of the songs on this album that had to grow on me more. Or, but it's like a good banger, but doesn't really elevate beyond that. I really like the big like drop out where it's just like light drums. And then just comes right back with the, is there something burning here or is it me? Like, it's pretty good. So I'm going to put this in the A tier. Next, Lord's Song. Another great banger with, like, a pretty haunting feel. I do like the, like, idea of just, like, God just telling the character that Alexis portraying on the song. Just keep crying due to the character's depression as, like, a cool idea. But, eh, outside of that, not, like, S-tier material, but still pretty good. We are going to put this in the A-tier, top of A-tier. Less sex. This is probably the best showcase of how daughters can be, like, haunting without, like, having super complex vocals. Because, like, it's, like five li like, five different lines on this song. But the atmosphere, like the backing vote, like the backing track makes, is like pretty much what makes the song so good. Like the big booming bass, and like the wailing guitars that build up on the song, are like the reason why the song is so good. And I am putting this in the S tier. Mm -mm. Daughter, uh, the song is really good. It has probably the best groove out of any song on this album because it's got like this bossa nova-esque drum beat however like once every instrument comes in like the song really goes into full swing and like the same dead hand knocking at the door line is really good and the lead up to like the outro of the like repeat repetition of knowing they'll die here there is great which is why I am putting this song in the S tier. The reason they hate me, uh, this is the best banger on this album. I'm like pretty much just case your ass for like the four minute runtime. It's uh, S tier. Uh, next, Ocean Song. This is the like best showcase of daughters writing on a song. Like, pretty much is a song written about Paul from Self-Titled. It's mental collapse and just him running to the ocean, like, after this collapse. Like, pretty much the instrumental, like, shows how haunting, like, the vocal, like, lyrics are. And, like, the wailing guitars and, like, the noisy drone underneath it are great showcases of this. And I'm putting this in the S tier. Finally, Guest House. This song honestly did not initially click with me when I first heard it. Or I enjoyed it more like the first time I listened to this album on like physical vinyl. 
uh, like, pretty much the song is just, like, a big distressing mess. As of Alexa trying to enter some place. Like, however, the instrumental on this, like, has, like, an orchestral element that comes in, like, halfway through the song. And, like, that is, like, the best moment of the song. Like, pretty much sitting through the this album and getting hit with like this like overwhelming barrage of noise just to be met with like a this fucking like orchestra at the end of the song it's probably like the best moment on this album like pretty much this song like will bring me like slightly teary-eyed just because how fucking raw it is which is why i'm putting this in the s tier So anyways, that is my tier list. I will leave this tier list in the description below if you want to make your own. But yeah, there's no changes I want to make. This is it. And with that in mind, I will see you in the next video.